How can you tell that your rabbit is ill? Hello everyone, I am Mariska and I'm the bunny mom of four adorable rabbits. In this video I'm going to tell you 12 signs of illness in your rabbit because rabbits are very sensitive creatures, they can get ill very easily and it's important to be, you know, quick when your rabbit is showing signs of illness because it can be, get very dangerous quickly and of course we want to keep our little fluff balls with us as long as possible. Before I start with the symptoms I'd like to make a disclaimer because I'm not a vet I'm just a woman who knows a lot about bunnies but you know when you see any of the symptoms I'm going to tell you about please contact your vet because he or she will know best what to do and I'm also going to tell you when it's something is urgent and you have to go to your vet immediately. Your rabbit is not eating. When your rabbit isn't eating at all or eating less than usual it really is a sign that your rabbit is at least feeling unwell. Of course of all people you know your rabbit best so if you know that your rabbit usually doesn't eat all of the pellets at once then there's nothing to worry about. If that's your bunny maybe your bunny is getting old like my Flipje she doesn't eat all of her pellets at once she usually saves a bit for later so there's nothing for me to worry about. However most bunnies really get excited when you come with the pellets or something else to give them. They really should act like they haven't eaten for days. <laughs> That's usually how my bunnies act when I give them something, some greenery or hay or something else. I know my bunnies and I know it at the once when something is wrong. When in doubt you can always do the treat check. So you can give your bunny something he or she is very fond of like a piece of carrot or banana or some other treats. And when your bunny refuses this treat you know something is really off. You know you have to go to the vet as soon as possible. The risk of a rabbit not eating is that uh, the intestines can you know slow down even stop and once they have slowed down or stopped it's you know it's difficult for them to you know to start again so a rabbit can die quickly when he doesn't eat apathy if something really is a sign that your rabbit is very ill or unwell it's apathy your rabbit isn't moving at all maybe he's sinking through its paws you know your rabbit is very weak and you can really see that he's unwell my rabbit silver once was very apathetic he had gi stasis and you know i picked him up and you know to check him and i felt his belly was very hard and then i let him jump from the couch and he sank through its paws and then I could tell this really is very urgent. I knew then I had to rush to the to the animal hospital because it was you know very critical and he survived because of the great care they gave him but it really really was an emergency. So when your rabbit is in apathy and he's already getting cold you know he can die very quickly. Constantly shifting position. A clear sign that your rabbit is in pain is when he is constantly shifting position. So the one moment he is sitting, then he is lying, then he is sitting again. Then you can tell that your, you know, your rabbit is restless. He cannot find a position that's comfortable. And you know, my Flipje has this every once in a while. And Flipje, I know when she's doing this, I have to, uh, you know, to check her belly and I know how to treat it. It's just something she has every once once in a while but if your rabbit doesn't you know if you don't know what's wrong with your rabbit you have to call the vet because your rabbit is in pain and your rabbit only sh starts showing pain when it's serious so please go to the vet at once a hard belly when your rabbit has a hard belly it's really an emergency and you have to go to the vet immediately when a belly is hard it means your rabbit has gone into gi stasis that's very dangerous your rabbit can die within hours it's really really serious as i said i had this with silver ones and i you know the rabbit hospital was very close to my home only 10 minutes away and i rushed him to that hospital and they admitted him immediately and um, you know they had to empty his stomach uh, because all of it was blocked and he was uh, you know he was molting up in that period so I think he ingested a lot of hair and it was really critical you know the vets told me you know Silver was a fighter because he nearly nearly died and um, because they 
kept him in the hospital for a night. They were able to save him. And because I lived close, well, at that moment I lived close to the rabbit hospital. But a lot of bunnies die from this. So please, when you feel a hot belly, go to the vet immediately. Sneezing. When your rabbit is sneezing, it doesn't have to mean something serious is going on. Maybe there's just some irritation. Maybe you have just put on perfume or there's some dust in the air. I mean, we humans, we sneeze as well. But when your rabbit is sneezing multiple times a day or even daily, then that's, it's a sign something is off. Maybe there's, you know, your rabbit can have some respiratory issues. There can be, you know, uh, an infection or something. So your rabbit has to be treated or it might become worse and your rabbit can die. Sneezing can also be a sign of dental issues or eye problems. So this is really something you need to have checked so your rabbit can be treated. Wet eyes. When you see that your rabbit has runny eyes or even has boogers in the corner of its eyes, that's a sign of some illness or underlying problem going on. Your rabbit might have dental issues, the eyes may be irritated or even infected. Your rabbit can also have blocked tear ducts, so it's a sign that you have to go to the vet. It usually isn't an emergency, but you have to go to the vet so you can have it treated. Sudden incontinency. When you have a rabbit that is litter box trained and your rabbit always pees into the litter box, then it can be a sign of illness when your rabbit suddenly pees onto the floor. Of course, there can also be other reasons. Your rabbit might be stressed about something or maybe, you know, you have done something your rabbit doesn't like and he wants to show you that he's unhappy about it. But it's a sign that you have to, you know, monitor your rabbit because when your rabbit is ill, he might, you know, pee on the floor. My rabbits Popje and Silver pee on the floor a lot and they both have ecuni and that's a parasite and I know that because of the parasite they tend to pee on the floor a lot. When they do that more and more often I know I have to treat them again but when it you know, happens suddenly you have to really monitor your rabbit because there might be something going on. Diarrhea. Diarrhea really is a sign that something serious is going on with your rabbit because a rabbit usually doesn't have diarrhea. I mean, it's a sign that your rabbit is really ill. So how can you tell that your rabbit has diarrhea? Well, the diarrhea is usually more runny than, for instance, the secotropes or the pellets your rabbit produces. So it's really runny. It doesn't really have, you know, some kind of form. It isn't like, it isn't round. It's usually like some sort of plaque and it can stick to the bottom of your rabbit. And when you look at secotropes, that's usually smelly and they look like a bit like berries, but they are also soft. Those are really different and those are the, the poops your rabbits should eat. So if you find secotropes on the floor a lot of times, it's also a sign that something's wrong with your rabbit or your rabbit's diet. But diarrhea is really more serious and you will instantly see and smell that your rabbit has diarrhea. Diarrhea can have many, many causes, but your rabbit can even have tumors. So please, when you witness diarrhea, you have to call the vet immediately and make an appointment because your rabbit might be really ill. Heavy breathing. Your rabbit can have heavy breathing for a lot of reasons. For instance, there are obvious reasons when your rabbit has been running around, has been making zoomies or has been binking a lot, of course, then he has been exercising. And just like with us humans, you know, the breathing goes quickly. So that's normal. Also, when your rabbit is in obvious stress, he might have heavier breathing. So that's normal as well. But when your rabbit is in rest, maybe he's even pathetic, he's in a corner somewhere breathing very heavily, it's labored breathing, even some wheezing, then it's a sign that your rabbit is very ill. Especially when the mouth is open and you can tell your rabbit is really struggling to breathe, it's important to call your vet at once, to go to the vet, have him check because your rabbit might be dying. Loud teeth grinding. When your rabbit is doing loud teeth grinding, your rabbit is actually telling you he or she is in pain. And your rabbit only shows pain when he has a lot of pain. So when the teeth grinding is very loud, 
then you know your rabbit is very very ill. Of course your rabbit can also grind its teeth when you are petting him, when you're caressing him, when your rabbit is happy and when you know your rabbit you know how that teeth grinding sounds and you will see or actually hear when it's a lot louder, when your rabbit is feeling unwell, maybe there are some other symptoms I've mentioned and then you know your rabbit is in a lot of pain and of course once again you have to call the vet. The head is tilted. When you notice that your rabbit has a tilted head it's also a sign that something's going on. Your rabbit might have an inner ear infection but it can also be a sign of a parasite called E. cuni and in that case your rabbit can be treated easily. However, when you notice these symptoms, you have to go to the vet as soon as possible because the quicker you, quicker you are with treatment, you know, the more chance your rabbit has to recover quickly. Paralysis. Paralysis in a rabbit can have multiple causes. Your rabbit might be getting old, maybe he has arthritis, but the rabbit can also have the parasite E. cuni and that, you know, it can cause paralysis in, for instance, the hindquarters or your rabbit may have a tilted head. And in that case, you have to give him treatment as soon as possible. And the treatment is very easy. You can give your rabbit panicule and, you know, your rabbit can, you know, after a while, you can even uh, get better. It will be a struggle, but this can be treated. When left untreated, the paralysis can spread very, very quickly. And my rabbit, Jackie, who I had years ago, he got paralyzed within, I think, a night and he couldn't keep himself clean anymore. You know, his uh, poops were all over him, his secotrope, so it was really a mess and smelly and it went very quickly and he actually died because of this. Another reason for paralysis is when your rabbit has some spinal injury, maybe your rabbit has fallen. So then of course you have to go to the vet immediately because it can be very dangerous. So what can you do when your usual vet is closed? Maybe your rabbit is getting ill in the weekend or in the evening, maybe even in the middle of the night. You know, it usually happens when your usual vet is closed, I know. So when that happens, you can even still call your vet because usually when they're closed, they give you a number you can call in case of emergency. So when you call this number, you will get a vet who can, you know, give advice or maybe you can make an appointment to come right away. So it can be, you know, handy to prepare yourself for the situation. Find out beforehand where the nearest emergency rabbit hospital or pet hospital or emergency vet is located. So when it happens, you know where to go and you can be as quickly as possible. So as I said, I'm not a vet. I'm only giving you information and signs that your rabbit might be ill. But if you see any of these signs, please contact your vet immediately and discuss it with him or her because he will know best. So if you have any stories about your bunnies you'd like to share with me, you can put them in the comments. I read all of them. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, you can subscribe to the channel. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye!